This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. I have several of Maybe so I just, um, I just trained with, with her uh, five times twice, uh, organized around a level up. I'm actually going to buy out her whole infantry. And then I will sell her some of the potions that I've made. So when your alchemy skill is very high, you can actually make money that way. I might be at that point, but of course it only lasts so long as she has inventory. Uh, inventory. But... So that actually was a profitable trip. And a little bit amused that I can stand in the fire. I seem to remember in this game that you shouldn't be able to be, uh, you shouldn't be able to uh, to do that. But I might actually have enough magic uh, resistance to uh, to not take any damage from it, maybe. Or maybe I'm just re uh, misremembering. Need supplies? See Bellathor at your store. That is hilarious. We're going to head upstairs and see if we can't buy enough materials to craft some more stuff. Oh, normally there's a uh, a smith here. Him. Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. Actually, while we're here, let's see if he has anything with enchantments on it that we want. Apparently not. And he has iron ingots and quicksilver. Let's just see if... Oh, and he has ebony ing uh, ingots. I guess I do have some things that I can improve with that. So... I'm going to put on my crafting gear before I start doing this. Oh, that's not right. Craft, craft. Really should have been more uh, organized with this. Smith 20 ring. I should have called that craft 20 ring so that I didn't have to go looking for it, but oh well. This looks like spellbook for. He's just gonna let me take some of his uh, stuff. That's nice of him. So that's added on by a mod. Unfortunately, it is totally, totally unbalanced. So I never, uh, I never felt right uh, taking it. It is a fun uh, weapon. Uh, if you don't mind that complete lack of balance. Oh, so glass stuff, you need uh, moonstones and leather and stuff to make that work. And I don't think I have any moonstone. And I don't think he sells it. No, he doesn't. Now, leather strips are always useful if you're smithing stuff. Some leather. Uh, wrong side. This is this is a gigantic house that houses a faction in the game known as the Companions. But we're gonna head down to the other Smith and see if she has any of those raw materials that we would like. She also has a 
companion or or husband inside. I'm not entirely sure which. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your Okay, face. conundrum. Moonstone oars. Okay, she's now pretty rich. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. See if we accidentally Okay. A little bit more of this. Definitely this. Now if we can make any glass armor, that'd be great. Because I think it's bound to be better than anything we're wearing right now. If not, no worries. Take a look. See, does he share? No, he has a separate inventory. Okay. Now we have just made ourselves pretty poor, but we should be able to do some pretty nice uh, crafting if we want to. So let's see what we can manage. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that on. Man's steel is So, can we do anything with glass? We don't have any refined malachite, so apparently not. Unfortunate. But I guess what we can do is head home and see if we can buy, uh, if we either have some in our uh, in our chest. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Okay, Jizargo. Jizargo only has so much room to carry things. Oh, sorry, Jizargo. You are going to get to carry some heavy ores. Okay, that should do. Actually, let's see, I think I did pick up some more iron ore from that guy. So we'll make an ingot out of it, a few ingots out of it. And then, now we are not over encumbered and we can travel back home. And let's see if we can smith some last gear for ourselves. By fast traveling away from there, we have given up on the chance of of being able to retrieve more of that gold that we just uh, gave them to buy the raw materials. But... So one of the, the fun things about the game is that you do, um, the NPC guards, uh, to spice up their conversations, they have a lot of things that they can say, but they will notice what, uh, what your skills are that, that are exceptional. They have kind of a low boundary for what, what counts as exceptional, but, um, do I have any refined malachite here? Yes, I do. Decent amount, too. And we'll take all our quicksilver and ore column, all our leather strips. We don't really want any of the ore, but I did not mean to pick up one of the things I just grabbed. Yeah, anything that we think we might be able to use in smithing, we will grab. And we are going to drop off our dragon scales. And our worker tusk. Okay. And our agenda is to smith nicer gear for ourselves.
Now, occasionally vampires wander into the town and start killing people. So I always worry whenever I hear an NPC saying anything that sounds alarmed. It's especially bad if you happen to be overburdened because your familiar, I'm sorry, your uh, follower will be a lot more interested in fighting your foes than in talking with you. So you can't easily hand um, hand off the stuff. And this guy who I rescued from Limbo doesn't seem to know what to do, so he's just hanging out here. And he's still naked. Unfortunate. So, did I have anything to improve? Huh, I guess I actually theoretically could improve a lot of stuff. Including stuff I'm wearing right now. But highest priority for me is replacing stuff. I would like to make better glass gear. So let's make a glass shield. Helmet. Gauntlets. Boots and armor. And let's see if I still have enough material left to improve this stuff up all to be nice. Cool. Actually, what kind of sword am I using? I have sword and bow. I'm using an ebony bow and an ebony sword. Uh, I'm using an ebony bow and a blade sword. Blades is 47, ebony is 59. Blades 47, ebony 59. Hmm, looks like I'm getting kind of low on... Uh, I'm not sure if the glass sword is actually better. Let's see what it looks like if I can improve it. If I so I'll have the ingredients to improve it. And I don't. So it's almost certainly... Yeah. So I might as well... Let's do a little bit more improving of these things. Let's improve all the high value stuff that we have. Maybe not. No, this stuff is really high value. Except maybe this. There, I can't do a lot of improvement of it. So, maybe it's time to start crafting more stuff. Okay, so I can't do any more glass gear. I can make elven armor. There was something... Elven gilded armor seems to be worth a lot. And steel plate armor is also worth a lot. But I'm chewing through steel pretty quickly. So let's make sure that I still have enough steel left to improve this stuff. Oh, this, this uses uh, conundrum. So I can actually finish off with that and that's all the steel I can do. Yes, this is not the most exciting thing that you, you might do, but if you really want to do well in Endgame, you're going to have to uh, do a moderate amount of this all throughout the game, just to make sure that uh, make sure that you're not too weak when you're uh, facing the toughest enemies in the game. Yeah. 
And I think the experience you get is based on how much you actually... Maybe it's how much you improve the armor rating? I don't fully understand how, how the system works. But is there anything more that I can craft that's worth crafting? No more jewelry. Can't do any glass. Can't do any elven. Can't do any more leather or anything with steel because I'm out of steel. Can't, okay, so I think I'm done with uh, with smithing for now. Let's put our normal. Okay, so there is an interesting question. We don't really have a, a strong idea of what our normal gear is right now because we're potentially about to replace most of it. With all this new uh, all this new glass gear that we just made. So and it's also all going to have new names. I hope I have enough grand souls to enchant it up nicely. Let's see what I do have. Grand soul. I have four that are full. Plus I have the, the black star. So I have four, possibly five, enchantments at grand power. But I would like to hold those off until the end, because if I can hit level 100 in enchanting, then I can put two enchantments on these items rather than one. Once you've enchanted something, that's it for um, enchanting it for the rest of the game. Whereas with smithing, you can keep on improving it so long as you have the materials uh, until until you've uh, hit whatever your current uh, skill level will let you do. Now, of course, this isn't my end game gear, but it's going to be serving me for the next while. And I don't think there's... oh. Apparently I don't know this yet, and I don't know this yet either. Fortify pickpocket. Cool. Two, two new enchantments. Um, so the blade sword is actually better, apparently, than ebony sword, which I did not know. But let's get to it. We want to see if we can hit... We don't have anything better than this yet. If we can hit 100, that would be absolutely fantastic. A2, 87 is carry weight. 84 is two-handed. So fortified carry weight is actually still the best enchantment that we can put on gloves. Okay, we're leaving the glass armor alone. Anything glass is something that we're likely to use. Fortify Destruction was still the best, or was it Fortify Healing Rate? Huh, they're both just as good. Destruction is 756. Archery is 780. That might have been the best that we can do for helmets. We're not going to get a lot of experience from these, but we'll get a little bit. Now when we do hit 100, we, uh, we are going to have a second set of gear that we're going to start really uh, obsessing over, and that's going to be the gear that we use to do smithing and alchemy. We're going to dual enchant 
all those gears into a crafting set that's useful for both. Okay, 98, looking promising. They're very close to having full Unfortunately, we're also getting close to being out of armor. I don't think we're quite going to make it to level 100. So if we don't, and I think we probably won't, then we're going to put that glass armor away for now. Because, uh... It was kind of a pain in the butt to make it, and I don't want to have to uh, to make another set. Oh, am I not even going to hit? Might not even hit level 99. Maybe I'll just barely hit it. Archery is 230. Might come up just shy of level 99. Okay, that's level 99. And, uh. Well, that is tragic. I am so very close. Jazargo, are you wearing anything I can enchant? Jazargo only has so much room to carry things. Oh, do you actually still have a, a bunch of other th stuff that I can craft because I didn't grab all my stuff from you? Let's take your boots and see what I can do with them. Khajiit will follow. And I'll use a greater soul for them because he's going to be using them. Um... Yeah, I don't know if he actually uses stamina, stamina very much, but let's give it back Gisargo to him. Has not, only has so much room to carry things. I really wish he had a little bit more that I could put enchantment on, but he doesn't. And given that, let's see if I can. We're so close that it just seems like a shame to interrupt the uh, the leveling process here. Unfortunately, I can't quite give him enough to get myself out of being overburdened, and I hate walking around like that. I guess I'll give him... Uh, he can't... I guess I am hitting the limits of his carrying capacity. No, we just can't give him enough. We're gonna be overburdened. Oh, that's unfortunate. A nice slow trek back over to sell this stuff and see if the smith uh, Balament can sell us enough stuff to let us enchant our way up to level 100. But I'll have to do that in the next Let's Play. So uh, this was Skyrim, and I've been your host, Pat.